Welcome to PW Portfolio Analytics. Today, we will be continuing the topic of risk and return. Let's recap what we discussed in Risk and Return 101. The risk-adjusted return is a concept that is used to compare and choose portfolios. It measures the expected return that a portfolio will generate per unit of risk. Since most of us like return but dislike risk, we want portfolios with a higher risk-adjusted return. In this video, we compare three risk-adjusted return ratios and look at when it is appropriate to use which. You will find all three ratios in our Smart Risk Analytics. The first and most well-known is the Sharpe Ratio, also known as the Reward to Variability Ratio. It is defined as Expected Return minus RF, or the Risk-Free Rate, over Risk. The return on a government treasury bill is typically used as a proxy for the Risk-Free Rate. For the second ratio, we return to Steven. This time, Steven is targeting a specific annual rate of return that he needs to obtain from his portfolio. Since the market is so volatile, however, Steven relies on a ratio called Roy's Safety First Criterion. It is defined as expected return minus T, or the investor's target return, over risk. Let's compare these two ratios by looking at two different portfolios. Assuming a risk-free rate of 1% and a target return of 4%, we see that while portfolio B has the higher Sharpe ratio, it has a lower Roy's Safety First criterion because portfolio A is more likely to meet the target return despite higher risk. It is important to note that standard deviation, which is used to measure risk in both the Sharpe ratio and the Roy's Safety First criterion, calculates the volatility of a portfolio around the expected return meaning that it captures not only the downside risk, but also the upside risk of the portfolio. However, the reality is that most of us are not too concerned about upside risk. If your target rate of return is 5%, you wouldn't be too concerned if the portfolio was yielding, say, 6% one year or 7% the next. In this situation, you may want to use the Sortino ratio to compare portfolios. It is expressed as expected return minus T, over downside risk. In Smart Risk Analytics, downside risk is calculated using the volatility of the portfolio returns that are below the target. In this video, we introduce three risk-adjusted return ratios that you can use to compare and rank portfolios. The Sharpe ratio is the most well-known and the industry standard, but we also encourage you to think about Roy's Safety First criterion if you have a target return, and the Sortino Ratio if you have a target return and you care more about downside risk.